Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into this thing. Last night was a lot of treats, some defeats, and a few letdowns. But overall, Showtime definitely entertained you at the least. And hey, like I said in my other videos, got to give Showtime a little kudos for putting together probably one of the best undercards of this year in my book as far as entertainment goes you had Tyson Fury little brother up there Tommy Fury he don't won um you had Montana Love pull out a very good victory against a very cagey fighter he got a knockout then you had Amanda Serrano she won unanimous decision very good fight very entertaining a little bit longer than what I thought I thought it was gonna be a lot shorter than that but it went <laughs> Like I said, a lot longer than we expected. But she left with the unanimous decision. Then, last but not least, we watched, hey, Jake Paul. We watched Tyron Woodley get it on. And the boys fought, hey, a lot better than I thought. Tyron Woodley definitely shocked and surprised me for how good he boxed. And... I truly believe if it was real judging and the judges counted Jake Paul going through the ropes as a knockdown because I'm pretty sure if it was reversed and Jake Paul knocked Tyron Whitley through the ropes, everybody would have been arguing a different thing. Oh man, there's no way they would have gave a split decision. Uh, he knocked Tyron Willie through the ropes. The ropes kept him up. If it weren't for the ropes, that would have been counted a knockdown. But, of course, Tyron Willie did that, and they didn't even count the knockdown. They didn't even remotely refer to it as a knockdown. You know why? Because Jake Paul, the Disney star, was at home in front of his hometown crowd. Nine times out of ten, they wrote this thing up to where, you know, I truly believe Tyron Willie won't meant to win that anyway. You know, because I really truly believe they thought that he was just going to get walked through, hit with a two-piece, three-piece combo. Because you remember Jake Paul said, hey, I'm going to knock you out in two rounds. I predicted uh, your, your boy being Askren getting knocked out and I'm predicting you to get knocked out the same way and you know Tyron was like hey hey I ain't him you fought being Aspen that ain't even known for a striker he known for a wrestler you know then he was retired past his prime then just got knocked out by Masvidal before that so he was coming off a loss then going into a boxing stage of his life that he never even competed did any amateurs for or nothing like that so that was you know pretty much rigged same thing with tyron woodley but if you notice tyron woodley took him all the way to the eighth round when you said you're gonna knock this dude out in that second round and i tell you what when tyron woodley hit him with that clean super shot over the top of his jab and rocked his head and knocked him up under the first rope. Huh. Lean, this boy leaning on a rope like it was a chair. <laughs> if Tyron Willie had a step to him and just hit him with a straight shot in the face, he would have knocked him through the ropes onto the floor and probably in front of one of his family members laughing. And that's being real. And that lets you know Either Tyron Willie knew he didn't supposed to win by contract because maybe we got a two fight deal already set up or something like that. Or either he said, I'm not too sure about going at him and punching him right now. So 
anyway, being what it was, hey, it is what it is. You know, let them have that little win. Let them feel as though. But if you notice, Tyron Willie got into the ring and answered that rematch. Jake Paul got. Uh, if you get, if you get a tattoo, uh, you can get it. <laughs> so hey, y'all do what y'all want to do. Feel how you want to feel. We know what's real. And with that being said, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon on the way out my house. You already know what time it is. Appreciate y'all here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm out.